Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Preserving Condition. This is episode 9 and I'm bringing a leg workout for you. You'll see in the description box down below uh, my full routine, but you can see it on screen also. Putting on my squat shoes, I have been wearing them every time I do squat. Uh, they help with my, my mobility quite a lot. I do recommend if you are lacking in getting into bottom position, they do help with um, just increasing that range of motion and flexibility, the lack of flexibility in your ankle especially. Helps also with bringing your knees over your toes. Also helps with making sure that you're feeling the weight on your heel rather than uh, the balls of your feet. So you're kind of sitting into the squat and pushing through the heel, activating your glutes, your hamstrings and your quads. By all means, you don't really need to have squat shoes when you are squatting. They are just a tool in the toolbox to help with uh, getting into bottom position, help with activating muscle groups and getting through the workout. So I start off most of my workouts with a compound movement. So for my leg workout, I do start with these back squats. Once I start my new program that I've written up, I will be focusing more on front squats and also implementing back squats as well. They do serve a purpose and help with activating the entire leg, but I wanna focus more on those front squats as they're more focused on the inner head of the quadriceps and work on that teardrop. You can see here I'm warming up with the bar. Initially use the bar basically just to get the body moving, get the joints and the muscles contracting and then moving up in weight, adding 20 kilos on each side. So and then bumping up the weight 10 kilos each time until I get into my working sets. With leg workouts, the warm up can change in time. I usually tend to do a lot of reps until I do feel comfortable with the weights. I won't start my working sets until I feel like I've warmed up properly and that can take up to five or six sets and just acclimating that weight upwards until I get to my working sets. So you'll see here, this is 100 kilos and it's going to be my first working set. I do three working sets. I do usually keep the reps quite low. I do complete five reps at 100, I tend to just focus on getting those reps nice and clean and moving up in weight. I usually do pyramid the sets and pyramid the weight upwards. Here I've got 100 and then the next clip you'll see that I add more weight. I think I do 120 and then I'll do a set at 140. So the reps drop down, uh, but the weight goes up. I do like to focus more on strength when it comes to squats. I used to do quite a lot of strength training before I got into more of that bodybuilding spec and all that hypertrophy and lots of sets and reps and exercises. So I do like to train for strength for most of my compound movements and keeping the reps nice and low. I find that I have a lot more power and I don't feel like I have a chance of injuring myself because I'm not going to quite complete failure with these heavy weights I'm able to be a bit more explosive and focus more on the strength it's only the first exercise so I usually do use most of my energy for that first exercise and then later in the workout moving more into that hypertrophy getting in those reps and building some muscle so this is my top set it's 140 kilos uh, loading up the bar now I'll let you watch this as a raw clip and you'll see here that I uh, get two quality reps first one's a lot cleaner but I do push myself for that second one um, so here we go So those are two reps there. Um, that second one was quite a struggle. I got into bottom position and got stuck, but pushed through it. And then immediately after that top set, I dropped down the weight back to 100 kilos. Do eight reps here, making sure to feel the burn, feel the contraction and get into that bottom position, full range of motion. I definitely get commented on my squat and how deep I do go with getting into depth. I do find my mobility is pretty good when it comes to the squat. I notice quite a lot of times that it's p basically repetitively doing the motion, which has been helping a lot when it comes to getting into that bottom position. 
I've been doing the squats on every leg workout for the past, you know, three to four years that I've been training. So it's just getting that repetitive motion and um, stretching and pushing yourself to ingrain good motor patterns when it comes to the doing these exercises. And that's what's key when doing any type of exercise. You want to ingrain good motor patterns so that when you get to those heavy reps and heavy sets, that your mind and body is doing the right thing and following that good form. So moved on to my next exercise is the leg press. I started at four plates and it's pyramided each set. So I'm doing four working sets. I do now tend to move into more of that hypertrophy type of training aiming for 10 to 15 reps on each set and getting a good range of motion as well when it comes to the leg press. It's every type of workout, every type of exercise you do, you wanna work on and concentrate on that time under tension. It's the biggest thing when it comes to building muscle. You'll see that I've been putting my hands on my knees. A lot of people do tend to use the railings, but I do find that it supports my knees and I feel most comfortable uh, when I'm using my hands there. I probably do push a bit with when it comes to my hands, um, but you know the reps are good. I'm getting full range of motion and concentrating on that time on the tension. Also utilizing overloading the muscle with extra weight. I'm not worried too much that I'm taking away resistance when I'm using my hands uh, to support my knees. I'd rather feel more comfortable and overload with the weight and that way I'm still getting in clean reps. I guess you could argue that I should just lighten the weight and concentrate more on form and not having to rely on my hands to support the weight and feel comfortable, but I feel more resistance and more uh, burn and contractions when I'm using that heavier weight and load. So it's works and working for me, so I'll stick to that and touch wood, no injuries along the way. So just a tip with the leg press as well, I don't lock out my legs each rep. I just come shy of uh, fully lengthening out the leg. So my knees are never going straight. I'm always keeping a little slight bend. Um, definitely puts quite a lot of tension and strain on your knee joint and leaves you open for a high risk injury that you do not want. So this is the last set of the leg press. I went for 10 reps on seven plates and then followed this by dropping it down to three plates on each side and just going ham and repping it out. Feeling that burn and focusing on that hypertrophy, really burning out the muscle and, and preparing for that next exercise. My leg workouts are quite uh, intense to begin with and then slowly, slowly after each exercise, go more into lighter weights and more hypertrophy. So, so you'll see in the next clip, I move on to lunges. So I start my leg workout with three big compound movements. So fun, fun. Once I get past this, it's uh, smooth sailing because I move into more of that isolation stuff. Um, before the lunges here, I've got 50 kilos on the bar and I complete four sets, uh, 10 reps on each leg. So with each rep, I'm trying to focus on pushing through my heel. It helps with activating your glutes and your quads as well. If you haven't noticed already with the exercises that I'm doing with my leg workouts, I do tend to neglect my hamstrings a bit and I've started to notice that it is lagging quite a bit. I've been paying a lot of attention to my quads and glutes and I'm finding that they're developing nicely and I know I'm doing lots of compound exercises which activate both or the entire leg but I'm not really doing much isolation when it comes to the hamstring. So when I do write this new program, I'm gonna be focusing more on my weak parts, focusing on that inner head of the quad and focusing on that hamstring. So this part of the workout, after finishing all the compound exercises, the squat, the leg press and the lunge, my legs are dying, burning each step, each rep. And now I move more into my isolation movements. So doing these leg extensions, doing three sets with a drop set in each set, uh, just isolating the quads, both the inner and outer head, and getting that good squeeze and contraction between each rep. I then move on to these hamstring curls. Again, three sets with drop sets between each set. After these hamstring curls, I moved on to some calf raises, high volume, again, just isolating them out. 
and did 15 to 20 reps of four working sets. So that's the workout, went for about an hour and 15. Let me know what you think of the workout and this style of video. It's a, about a 10 minute video and just talking through my workout. Let me know what you think. I can do more videos like this or change it up. Thank you for your support guys. It's much appreciated. If you do like the video, leave a like down below. Stay up to date with all my progress on the DLC Facebook page and YouTube channel. Currently just under four weeks out from my bodybuilding competition and cannot wait. Super excited. Thanks again and remember, there's always room at Jim's house.